So yeah, tell me, who are you and what are you doing? Uh, I'm Daryl Riddle. I'm with Woot.com and uh, was here at Live Shopping Days uh, to do the keynote presentation. So what is your business about? So uh, Woot.com is the originator of the deal of the day uh, industry. So we, uh, we launched Woot.com in 2004 um, and, and the goal was essentially to uh, find a way of moving our, our excess inventory. Um, and, and so we launched a, a website that sells one item a day uh, and one of the key components is a community. So, um, so we've got forums where our members can go and discuss the product. They can uh, talk to each other about why it's a good deal or why it's not a good deal. Um, and, and from that, essentially, the, the site has grown based on the community. There are coming a lot of, uh, of a business copying that idea or using that idea to set up a business. What do you think are you doing better than others? Well, I think the, the key thing that, um, there, there's two things that, that we excel at. One is that um, we're actually a wholesale company from the beginning 16 years ago. So we're, we're able to have a, a discussion with the manufacturer where we buy all of the product uh, so we can control the market uh, and, and the pricing on each item. Um, so as, as some of the other websites start up and, and try to sell just one item a day, that's a key component they're missing uh, in that they can't own the entire uh, product lot and, and they can't get aggressive pricing. The, the other thing is that we, we did a really good job on building the community. Uh, we've actually spent no money on advertising from day one. So uh, all of our growth has been viral, it's been word of mouth. So it's friends telling friends about the good deal they got on Woot. Um, and the community is key. I, that's one of the things that uh, a lot of our imitators have not been able to replicate. So to summarize this, you would say only a nice concept is nothing to succeed. Right, right. And uh, yeah, but if you look at the others, what would you recommend them to do better? We heard today here uh, recommendations about emotional emotionalization. No, what is the word in English? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, emotional emotionalization. Um, sure, and, and that's one of the reasons we've been successful is that. Um, uh, you know, we do more than just sell a product. We sell a product at a great price, but then we make the product descriptions humorous. So even if the consumer is not interested in the item, they still show up every day to read the description. It's something funny they can pass along to their friends. They can discuss it at the water cooler. Um, and so it lends itself to being uh, discussed openly, uh, which most people wouldn't do if they went and bought something at Amazon. It's just not exciting. You buy something and that's the end of the story. When you buy something on Woot, You've got a great deal, and and you had fun while doing it. Um, so that's that's the key thing I would I would recommend uh, uh, to to the sites that are here today is um, to to find a way to make what you do exciting. Um, utilize social commerce when you can, whether that's Twitter or Facebook or Blippi, um, any of those uh, technologies that that allow your consumer to um, to tell their friends about the experience. Um, that, that's a, a key way to, uh, to grow without spending money on advertising. Who are your major competitors and why? Um, so my, my u usual answer to that is everybody and, and nobody. We're, we're fairly unique in that um, we sell one item a day. Um, so, so you could look at uh, Amazon and eBay as being competitors, but they're really not. They, they have a million items on their website. Um, and, and when you go there, a lot of times you're looking for something specific, whereas when you come to Woot, you're really looking more for a deal, you're looking for the experience. Um, uh, we also have a wholesale business, so since we're selling to a lot of these retailers, it's hard to look at them as competitors because we're really a supplier to them, therefore we, we, we can't compete with them. If you, if you are honest about your own business, what do you think could you do better? Um, I think there's still a lot of things we can do better in the community. Um, I mean, we've we've done a pretty good job uh, in in building that, but uh, I would say we could we could do more um, in uh, in reacting on on feedback that's posted to the forums. Um, it's one of those things that gets tough to, to keep up with. As many comments that uh, that go into the forum, it's it's hard to keep up with them all. But uh, that's one of the things we're looking to to do better this year is to be more uh, more proactive to uh, to discussions within our community. What do you think about the German and the European market? Uh, it's uh, it's very interesting. It's uh, it seems to be growing, and obviously with with the attendance here today, as uh, as big of a leap as it's taken from last year, I think. Uh, 
uh, two and a half times more people here than, than at the last event. So um, the market seems to be really growing. Uh, it's interesting to look at the uh, at each of the segments as, as they're kind of breaking out because you have um, you have both those that are that are doing the deal of the day model, but then also the ones uh, like uh, Branch for Friends and and uh, Buy VIP that are doing more of the private shopping model. Um, which was kind of a, a hot industry in the U.S. last year with Guilt Group and Rue La La. Uh, so it's interesting to see how they're both developing separately, but at the same time making a, a lot of the same advances. Do you see here something you could learn something from? Um, yeah, there's been a few interesting things today that, uh, that it would be nice if we could uh, incorporate them into our model. Um, it's always kind of a difficult decision trying to, to decide which way to go Uh, in, in our industry, so it requires a lot of evaluation and, and a lot of discussions back and forth on the, the pros and cons. So, but some some good ideas. Okay. And uh, yeah, what are your expectations for the next one two years? Which trends are rising up, and yeah, where's it going? Um, well, so 2009 was a was a rather odd year for us um, in that. Uh, the, the economic conditions changed so much of, of uh, what we did um, uh, in the last half of the year. Product availability, uh, it, it was pretty difficult to get a, a lot of product. So we had more consumer demand than we had uh, product supply. Uh, we're, we're pretty positive uh, that that, the, that will change this year. Conditions will get better. Um, so uh, that's that was our primary obstacle last year. We're, we're hoping to see improvement there this year. We're hoping for more products to sell. Correct, correct. And, and since we deal uh, specifically in end-of-life product, uh, refurbished product, uh, discontinued items, that sort of thing, we're we're pretty much at the um, uh, you know we're waiting for manufacturers to essentially make mistakes on product. They um, uh, they they over forecast what they're going to sell. Uh, they get returns from from another retailer, that sort of thing. So we're kind of. Um, We, we kind of wait for them to make mistakes and then we go in and, and help them clean up. So it might sound bad, but we're hoping that uh, manufacturers make more mistakes this year. So. Okay. Well, I wish you success with that. Um, thank you for the insights. Thank you.